Got a lot of digging out we gotta do, but this is only for the first hour, don't worry. After the first hour, I go back to decorating everything and making things look nice. Uh, just some regular MC he was streaming. Oh, uh, gotcha. Hardcore World or just, uh, normal? Uh, okay, so it was right here. Yeah, let's keep that there. Badass, though. I mean, I've been doing some Valhelsia. No, it was bread Bedrock. Oh, Bedrock's the mobile edition one? I, you know, I'm not, I'm not as familiar with the Minecraft stuff anymore. <laughs> I'm, I'm old school. I just remember the old, uh, when you had to play on, uh, uh, I still remember the old alpha version. Uh, console and mobile, gotcha. Badass. Yeah, you know, I've heard a lot of people who play that. Uh, we have a friend of ours, uh, Maya, who does a lot of Bedrock. Um, I, you know, I've been, I've heard lots about it. I've never actually gotten into it, though. I imagine it's probably similar to how the old alpha Minecraft was when it used to be on the browser. Uh, but, God, I can't imagine trying to play that on console. That must be difficult to build as all hell. For those wondering, this is Java, of course, because we are playing modded. I don't even think mods are available to Bedrock yet. <laughs> now it's 1.18. Oh, badass. Gotcha. Yeah, we're only doing 1.15 on this. We're actually... So, our SMP server for me and the boys is coming back, hopefully this fall when we um, pick up again. And that'll be us playing um, the new 1.19 when it comes out. Bedrock is updated all the way. Uh, they can't get mods though. Okay, gotcha. Good to know. That's that. That's also great and sucks because I can't imagine playing nothing but vanilla. I mean, vanilla is fine for a little while. It's like vanilla ice cream. You know, it's it's okay for a little while. Uh, I play PC. Uh, I oh. I was playing with uh, my missus who was on the PS4, a little bit lurking while I get ready. Oh, gotcha. No, fair enough, man. That's a good way to do it. See, my current partner won't let, doesn't play, so. <laughs> they don't game much, sadly. So, it's just me. But, uh, yeah, me and the boys will be getting back into doing a our multiplayer stuff. Holy shit, that's lava. Let's just do that. Uh, yeah, we'll be getting back into our multiplayer stuff coming up, um, I think, we'll, this fall is what the theoretical date's supposed to be, but, you know, whether that sticks or not is really gonna be the question. So, we'll see. Come on, damn it. Alright, there we go. Let's get all this cleared up so we can see where our lava is. Yep, had a feeling. Come here. But, what, are any, uh, any of y'all big Minecraft players for, uh, PC at all? Just out of curiosity. Got any cool builds you've been working on? Uh, what mod pack are you playing? Uh, this is Valhelsia. Um, and the goal is to do a full achievement run through it, as well as, um, build my first, uh, or my fifth mega base. If you go on to the YouTube channel, um, which I think... Yeah, YouTube, if you just type exclamation mark YouTube, um, you can uh, see it. Ooh, what are you building, Fire Creeper? I'm curious. I'm always looking for ideas and thoughts. Because the only thing I have currently after this base uh, is I'm going to start building some really well-known locations from um, uh, video games that I'm big into. So, like, you know, Zelda or Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, Dragon Age Origins... Uh, the old Donkey Kong 64. Pretty much any game that I have some nostalgia for, I'm probably going to be uh, doing some building from. So, that's about the only thing I've come up with for ideas on what to do for builds, other than my massive dwarven projects that I like to do. Uh, let's take you out, because you should actually be in here. Okay. Uh, oh, just hardcore right now, so I'm not building much. Just get started. Oh, man, the starting part is the hardest part. Um, Valhelsi, I think, is nice be only for uh, hardcore just because it takes away from a little bit of the boredom for me. Um, since I've been doing Minecraft so long, God, I think now... I don't know, at least since way back in 1.12. Um, you know, I just got kind of stuck with vanilla, got bored with it, unless we were playing as a group. 
I think we're actually right now, if I can remember correctly, our SMP stuff on the YouTube channel uh, that we used to that we run on Twitch when we're doing our live streams um, is at season six or seven. But you got any like themes or plans for your hardcore world, like builds you want to do? I love personally. I like to also do D and D maps, um, Dungeons and Dragons maps. There's some really good stronghold maps in that that really caught my attention. So, um, especially the dwarven outposts are always my favorite to build because I love dwarven stuff. Medieval for this run. Ooh, fantasy medieval or just uh, old medieval, like uh, IRL medieval. Because if I mean if you're gonna do like a medieval like uh, stronghold, man. Oh. Man, though some of those are gorgeous. There's a lot of inspiration out there for them. I think the only castle fantasy. Ooh, now that'll come down to whatever race you're picking off of. If you're going with human, um, you get some nice traditional builds. But I'd be definitely curious to see what you end up uh, picking. Let me know. Send me some videos or some uh, pictures once you get done. Give me some inspiration <laughs> so I don't have to work hard. <laughs> I appreciate the follow as well. Thank you so much. Uh, I got it. I'm yeah, I'm down. Like I said, if you check out the YouTube channels, um, let's see, we um, I think our S and P stuff has some of my better builds. Um, in my opinion, so like I did a dwarven, a proper dwarven fortress at one point. I got half of the map built. Still couldn't finish it. Like. I think I have the the book around here somewhere. Uh, but yeah, it was just so fucking massive. Let's get all this obsidian dug out. By the way, this isn't my main portion of my base yet. This is just where we're building everything currently. The main portion of the base is above ground, and I'll show that here in a, uh, in a minute. Let me also check something real quick, just to make sure I'm right on something. Yeah. But, yeah. Um... Badass though, man. I can't wait to see. Doo -doo. Oh, man. I'm still also waking up. It's like only 8.37 in the morning for me, so... Uh, and I've not had coffee yet. <laughs> so, right now I'm lost, so before I make a building plans, I have to find my base. That is so fair. Uh, I haven't gone out very far to explore my world yet because of that reason. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to get lost and not be able to find my way back. Um, cause one of the achievements in this is like to discover every single biome and there's like 62 biomes in this world. And I'm like, you know, I want to do a small base for each of the biomes if I can, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. First, I'd like to be able to survive for a good while and have a nice comfortable setup. I will say though, um, you know, as far as it goes with Valhelsia, it does make it much easier doing this in modded. Uh, because this mod, this mod pack is indestructible as an enchantment you can get. Um, I got it on my pickaxe first try, and uh, it basically means can it can never break. It auto heals itself with Silk Touch. So you know it's not totally cheaty. <laughs> not at all. Oh man. But y'all came at the best time last night. We, uh, it's kind of like mending, but it's permanent. Like it doesn't need XP. It just auto fixes itself. But with no XP, yep, yep. But y'all came at the best time. My most popular stream was last night um, because I. So I made a bet with my buddy saying, "There's no way we're gonna be able to get this channel big enough to get enough subscribers to uh, ever make anything of it." So we hit five subs. And they're like, come on, you gotta do something. So I did a bikini stream uh, as a joke. And oh my god, the, the VOD hit like 40 views. We had almost 15, 20 people in there. And I'm like, I could have just basically sat there in a bikini all night. I wonder if Paradox will release Victoria 3 on console uh, after PC release. Um, they may. Uh, they're not very big on... Um, or they seem to be very big on switching over now. Uh, now that they're starting to find some traction on the con or in the console market, so we'll see. For those who don't know, who are new to my channel, um, most of my channel is uh, on Twitch. I do during the week is strategy games, so like Civilization 6 and um, 
a uh, lot of uh, Paradox games, so like Crusader Kings 3, Stellaris. Um, we will on occasion do EU4 or Hoi4. Um, on top of the fact that we do a lot of achievement hunting on here. Uh, and then Pokemon. That's Those are our main games. We're doing Pokemon Nuzlocks with the group because we still have to finish the Pokemon Nuzlocke. So, if that's your kind of content, uh, you can check us out. We've got four YouTube channels we run on here as well. Um, we've got the VOD channel where you can catch all the latest VODs, uh, which is going to be soon to be updated. We've got to get everything kind of scheduled. We've got the D&D book. So, if you're a Dungeons & Dragons fan, we're actually making our own homebrew book, uh, World History. Uh, it's 7,000 plus years of history that we're currently writing through and running D&D campaigns for. Um, that channel will be officially launching at the end of March. Um, you can subscribe to it now, though, ahead of time before we start scheduling everything and getting all the videos out. Um, and then we've got the main channel where I do more YouTube exclusive stuff. And then we've got the Silent Stoner where we do stone uh, like stoner content. Uh, so I stream uh, part time. Uh, so I stream every single day for two hours. Uh, during the week, it's um, at 2 p.m. PST, or between 2 to 3 p.m. PST is usually when I start the stream and I run two hours. Um, weekends, we run, we start at 8 a.m. PST, and then uh, do that for two hours in the morning with Minecraft. And then in the evenings, we usually do some sort of game with the guys, like either Borderlands or um, Civilization or um, Divinity Original Sin. Um, so, But I work a full-time job. I work in the medical CRO industry, which is basically a fancy way of saying that um, big uh, medical research companies come to us with drugs that want they need FDA approved, and we do live we arrange live testings on patients who are desperately in need of the drug um, to better help them. So, uh, and I do that from like six, uh, 6 p.m. or 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. every day. So yeah. And, yep, we'll usually do one to two streams every day, um, on top of me recording uh, a bunch of YouTube-exclusive content for each of the ch or for some of the channels. Uh, we will be bringing back Dungeons & Dragons, actually, this June, um, and we're going to be doing a bunch more streaming with that, so we're just kind of on a break right now while I build my world, because it's a big world and has a lot of information I need to write down. <laughs> but, yeah, so... Busy channel, very active, uh, at least we try to be. So hopefully if you all enjoy the content, you know, just give us a follow and I appreciate every one of you. Uh, you don't have to subscribe, so don't feel that, like, uh, that kind of pressure. In fact, most of the time I don't recommend it because, to be honest, there are streamers who need your money more than I do. And I'd rather people go donate to them. Um, because there are people who actually want to do this for a living. I just enjoy doing it because it's fun. So... But, no, I don't make that much money <laughs> on this. I think um, one of the funniest things is... Uh, so, I have a few friends who are really, really popular on Twitch. You know, like, thousand views that I talk to on the regular. I can't... I And, you know, when they tell me, oh, yeah, you know, I have a schedule I keep to. I have to be really entertaining. I have to really get into it. And all the prep work they have to do, it's just like... I like the I like more like the Jay Schlatt kind of method of Twitch streaming, which is just, I'm gonna fucking stream wherever the hell I want, and just go with it, you know, kind of just chill out, you know, do what I want to do and not worry about it. So you'll never fall find me following trends or anything. However, this week we will be doing a Dream Daddy stream. Uh, it has been guaranteed. I will be playing it for two hours, uh, cause we hit that follower goal. So. Uh, Dream Daddy stream this week. Uh, be prepared. I feel bad for anybody who doesn't know what that is. If you don't, look it up on Steam. It's a rated... It should be a PG-13 game. Dream Daddy. Uh, it's a dating simulator. Um, we got it a while back and as a joke. Um, and so now it's part of our uh, streaming content. And the guys wanted to see me play it. We played it like once when I was dating my ex back last year, uh, back before September, and uh, it a lot of people want, enjoyed it and thought it was funny as all hell. So we will see. But yep, and then of course we do on occasion do like twelve hour streams and stuff like that um, with the channel. That's why we have the current uh, follower goal of one seventy to get a twelve hour stream 
um, which will be probably like a 8 to 8 thing. And there'll be an announcement when that's going to happen. So, we will see. But yeah, y'all are also welcome to ask me any questions as far as it goes. I'm fairly open pretty much about everything uh, when it comes to the channel and myself. So, <laughs> shouldn't have too much of a problem. Uh, but for those who are wondering what the project of this is currently, we're actually digging out a four-cornered um, build, um, which is going to act as, this portion is going to act as a trading hall. Um, I have a question, where uh, where is my base? Um, where you last left it, uh, is my guess. If it's not that where you last left it, then, well, it'll be the last place you look, because if you find it, hopefully you'll stop looking. <laughs> I dropped it somewhere. Man, I, I hate when I do that. I really do. Oh, man. You know, no, nothing worse than when you drop your base somewhere and, you know, you just can't find it anywhere. We've all been there. We all understand. We understand your pain. It's okay. Uh, but, yeah, and typically with these Minecraft streams, for those who are wondering, who, like, enjoy more of the building content or the digging content... Um, so we do one hour of digging and then one hour of building every stream. So, and for those wondering how many days we're at, we have just hit day 101, um, or day 102 according to the counter up in the top right. So, ah oh, man. But yeah, no, last night was fun as all hell. We had a good stream. I, poor Cameron got the worst Civ 6 spawn I've ever seen for a new bit player. Playing on Earth, uh, huge, not true start. He gets Arabia, which is the big oil tycoon. And wouldn't you know it, his base, or his starting location is in flip, in the Sir, or, uh, Siberian Outback. Like, right in the middle of the nothing but snowy wastelands. No production, no food. And I'm just sitting there, I'm like, God. and he was on my team, so, you know, of course, I'm now screwed because he's on my team, so, oh, man, it was so bad, I was like, there's no way, and of course, the other newbie we had on our group, Cook, gets uh, set in South America alone, no other players, and I was like, this is some, this is some major BS, this is some major BS, so yeah, it was a fun game, though, last night, we had a good time. Uh, Y'all can check out the uh, VOD. It's on the channel still, so if you are interested. Uh, okay, let's get this kind of filled in a little bit, because I don't know what I'm going to do with the floor yet. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, there's, there's more holes. What was I digging for down here? Oh, yeah, I was looking for diamonds, and now I'm just sitting on plenty of them. We ended up with so many diamonds once uh, I started digging this thing out. It was ridiculous. That first half that's over there that you'll see here in a minute was all dug out bot with an iron pickaxe. We didn't even get our first diamond pickaxe for so long. Hey mate, how you doing? Uh, I got nothing for you. Well, I mean, I'll take some iron. Um, well, I wish I had the dragon heads, mate. It'd be a lot easier if I did. But yeah. Hey, Grottle. Come here, give me your diamonds. Or B. Oh, well, he's... Oh, there he goes. Okay. <sighs> they always run away. Oops. Nope. We want that. Put that in there. So, yeah. And then I'll show y'all my little setup here real quick. So y'all can see it. There we go. Put that in there. So, yeah. We've been... We dug this whole thing out. 80 deep by 41 wide. Uh, all for our different librarians that we're slowly getting. And then we're going to be building on this here in a bit. As we're working on things. It's actually what... The reason why... Uh, I am spending the first hour working on digging is because we're actually letting our bonsai pots here gain a bunch of trees so that way we can start getting a bunch more wood which hopefully they're gonna start to we're starting to see a little bit more and this is starting to come together quite nicely the one we need the most of is the dark oak though so because it's gonna be our main primary building block for a lot of our librarian stuff uh, where do I download the mod pack might check it out uh, so, if you want to check it out, it's on uh, CurseForge. Um, let me pull up my CurseForge real quick and I'll show you. Doo, doo, doo. 
Let me, there we go. Uh, so yeah, the version I'm using is uh, Valhelsia 1.15 um, specifically. Uh, so that's the 2.2 or 2.3.4 zip um, if you want to check it out. Uh, the mods in it are, there's a lot, uh, you know, 196. I'm not going to go through them all. Uh, highly recommend, really fun. Um, I quite enjoy it. But yeah, uh, Curse Forge is where I got mine. So, hell of a time to mess around with. I love it. Because it's also kind of nice having a mod pack where, since I do a lot of digging builds anyways, because I like to do a lot of dwarven designs, uh, it's nice to have a massive uh, mod pack here. Hey, you know, I've hit I've hit that, what was that one, that one famous, really well-known streamer, uh, Mizkif said, I finally hit that four to five viewers. Now, uh, how do you spell that? Yeah, one sec. Uh, let me type in the chat for you. There you go. Oh, I spelt it wrong. One sec. That's wrong. Oops. Valhelsia 2. There we go. I misspelled it. <laughs> We're good. There we go, guys. But yeah. Um, highly recommend. Fun mod pack, especially if you like underground builds. Um, the world is amazing. And personally, I just like it for the hardcore build. I, I've never been a fan of vanilla Minecraft overall um, when it comes to like doing mega projects. So this is my uh, way of getting around it. All right. We also have indestructible on our shovel, which is fantastic to be honest. <laughs> this is the best thing. All right, let's get all this. Because we're going to need a bunch of gravel later for my concrete thing I'm doing. And this just helps clear everything out quicker. Less work on mining it. But yeah, uh, we've got an entire series going up on YouTube. So we, if you guys enjoy more multiplayer Minecraft, um, the main YouTube channel called The Silent Twitch. What's the best way to get started? Uh, build a house. Uh, honestly, for me, um, the first thing I did was I built my house, I got my cow farm going, and I just started following the achievements. Um, so that's kind of my rule of how I run this mod. Um, the achievements kind of get you into the more of the technical mods, in my opinion. Um, if you are big, if you're not big on technical mods, um, then, uh, like, if you're like me, basically, and you're like, oh, I don't understand redstone for shit... Um, yeah, the tech mods all have uh, achievements to work up, and I just go through each of the achievement lists, and I start with that. Um, but it really comes down to the kind of Minecraft player you are. I am a major builder. Um, I love to mine and do big builds. Um, every world I've ever done, that's always been the case. So, you know, that's how I do but if you like more adventure stuff then I would just explore the world a bit see what you find that you like you might find areas you enjoy and then want to build a base in it uh yeah <laughs> I will mention something a, a little tip that you can use you can pick up spawners with your if you get soap touch on a, a pickaxe so uh piece of advice um get that quickly so you can get xp going after what happened, just when I dropped my base, I'm not going to explore. <laughs> fair. Fair point. See, for me, because I do such massive builds, I have to do these, like, big digs first for my, um, first build, or with my first build, because I need resources. Um, if you look at any of our, like, SMP stuff where I do all my builds and, like, I'm showing off what I'm doing... Everything is just like it requires so many resources we have to go get. Our latest one we just did, which was SevTech, which should be uploading to the channel later this year. Um, sh that took just for the main base build. Um, when we got to building Wolf's uh, big tower, the amount of time I spent just going up and down getting lava. <laughs> To make lava uh, stone was just ridiculous. I'm not even gonna go into the grind. I didn't even do it on stream. I got to the point where I was like, fuck this. No one's gonna watch me make lava stone. Which is just basically going down, getting lava, putting it in a bucket, basically. And then, like, going around, um, 
uh, in the crafting table surrounding it like a chest with cobblestone. It was ridiculous. Um, so I've learned that whenever I do a, a new series from now on, my first project's always going to be like some underground base that's going to be massive because I need it for resource <laughs> reduction. <laughs> like, just doing this build so far, just doing the marble thing alone and with the fire crystals, I'm already out of the materials. I haven't even been able to finish that one wing yet because of the fact that I haven't gotten enough materials yet. So, it, yeah. <laughs> uh, for me, if you're a builder, then the big thing is just get a big mining project going, dig a massive hole, and just start working. But I know, my the thing is, I run into a lot of people who just really don't like to mine in Minecraft. Which, I mean, I can understand, but at that point, I think more of your goal should be to play, um, what do you call it, um, like the adventure mod packs. Which I've definitely thought about doing. I really want to do the Lord of the Rings one, something fierce. Because, for those who don't know, and who are new to the channel, my big thing in fantasy is dwarves. I love dwarves. I love lore behind dwarves, from Warhammer to... Tolkien's work to um, trying to think even Sky the Elder Scrolls series like anything with dwarven culture you know World of Warcraft stuff like that um, I'm really big into um, I make my own alcohol I uh, basically already um, knew I know a little bit about metal smithing I'm big into crafting shit and then I love to dig so. When I used to do, when I was living in Portland uh, back in the day, I used to do big, or I used to make really large gar gardens when I could. Yo, what's going on, Tom's? How you doing, Tom's? He German XD. Welcome, welcome. But yeah. Uh, so, any my biggest thing whenever I get into a new mod pack is the first thing I do is I do a massive dwarven like build and stronghold. So this will be at the end of the day. This will have a dwarven build to it. We've also learned I cannot do elven designs because when we tried 1.18 when it first came out, uh, I decided to make an elven build. And uh, as the guys called my first uh, nether uh, tree that I built, uh, they called it the Great Nether Chode. Um, so <laughs> I am doing great this morning. I'm about to get some coffee here in about four, four minutes and then uh, we're going to start building stuff. And uh, kind of end, the, we'll end the digging and start doing the building portion of the stream. Had a great stream last night for over 40 viewers. We're almost hitting 170 uh, followers, so we can get to that 12-hour uh, stream goal. And you know, we're doing real well. Channel's starting to take off for some weird reason. People are starting to enjoy the content. You know, so it's it's pretty good. Ah. Uh, Plus, I'm in the middle of, uh, I'm actually getting ready to go back to school here. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be doing it this fall or next fall um, to start my master's in finance, which I'm ecstatic about. Um, and then I'm going to hopefully be making even more money, which would be great. I actually planned that I stream today, but I don't know what to stream, though. Um, I mean, as far as it goes, depends on what you're into. Uh, I have a set stream schedule on like, what I like to stream and when. Um, so for me, uh, it makes it a lot easier to think on. Unless I'm doing like a random surprise stream. But I try to plan ahead for that kind of stuff. Because otherwise I am totally the type of guy who will just show up and hang out uh, and talk instead of actually streaming something. God damn, we are running out of chests. I'm going to have to go get more uh, chest built. Okay. Get our coal in there. Um, all right. Let's spend this last minute. How much RAM do you recommend for this mod pack? I usually put down about 8,000 is my goal. Um, so it's 100% uh, up to you as far as how you want to do that. But 8,000 is definitely my main thing. Woo. Uh, and yeah, Tom, uh, I, I mean, pick what you enjoy, man. I mean, if you're looking to do something more fantasy-based and you need old game recommendations, hit me up. Because I used to do a lot of RPG gaming. Right now, I've been on a big kick with Divinity Original Sin 2. Um, that I've been quite enjoying. I've also been enjoying the hell out of CK3, which has been another big one for me. Uh, let's see. So that's done. Perfect. 
We'll put that in there. Let's grab all those nether bricks because we're going to need more of them. Uh, we actually need to go get more nether rack, it looks like. <laughs> God. Uh, let's see what we can get out of this stuff. And then while we're doing that, let's smelt. So. Smelt some of this stuff down. Oop, there we go. Because we need XP. Thank. Oh, I thought I saw a follow for a second. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Um, okay, so those will be dug, because we gotta drop them all, or we gotta make those. Uh, well I planned on streaming Day Shift at Freddy's 2, but the ending route is a bit inappropriate. What What's inappropriate on Twitch these days? <laughs> like, legitimately, I don't even know. I mean, I've streamed Nicopara on Twitch, so... I can't, I can't even imagine what would be considered inappropriate. I mean, like, I know I can't do Neko, uh, like, most of the Neko Paras scenes on Twitch, but, you know, that's nothing new. Um, okay, so we have, where, wait, what? Oh, it's in here. Let's make our blocks here for this. Because we need to get more of this going. Alright, that works. I'll take what I can get. We're gonna use those here in a minute. All right, let's start getting all this going. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know what's considered appropriate or not. To be fair, though, I'm not like a known Twitch streamer, so I don't really have to care. Well, I can't stream Minecraft. My PC is crying. Oh, fair. Some people can, some people can't. It's funny. I'm actually so I upgraded my PC, um, which I think I have a Nightbot command for that, right? Do I? Uh, yeah, I actually do. Go, if you type in exclamation mark specs, I keep loading up the mod pack, but I can't pull it, uh, put it in the full screen. I can't click anything. Ooh, that's a little weird. Never ran into that issue before. Um, huh. All right, let's do one more line of this stuff, and then we'll go to the building portion of the stream. Yeah, I've, uh... Fair enough as far as crying PC. Uh, Civ 6 for me was real popular. You just gotta put on a bikini apparently and everyone wants to watch it. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, you want my advice. Um, yeah, I don't know why the mod pack would be giving you issues. Kind of weird. Let's uh, get this going real quick so I don't have to deal with the stack edge issues. Well, that works. There we go. That works. Toss all that in there again. Toss that in there. Makes it easier. Oh, yeah. Looks nicer. And we'll dig out more of that later. Okay. Uh, probably potato PC laptop. I mean, that's fair. 